Hello, my friends, and welcome to part 30 of the SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bomb Rehydrated Let's Play series. So I'll go through more of this area and try and get a few more spatulas. Okay. So now I can get some of these guys. Cause me to lose a life. There's one. So I guess I go over here then. There's a sock over there. I think I can make it. Yeah. Got another sock. Woohoo. So that means I on, I'm only missing one sock now. Because as in mind, there's only three socks in this one. I really thought I was going to make it. Maybe you can't step on that. Okay, time to get serious. At least got a sock though. Man, why do I always seem to lose a life with that? Oh well, time to get serious. Time to get the sock. Hmm. Apparently, you can't lasso those. I guess. Maybe you can't lasso the ones that are like small. Okay, so now I'll be SpongeBob again. Okay. Do this. Okay, one more sock to go. Oh, this is one of those where the um it's going out and in. Or do you push it in? Well either way you gotta You gotta kinda hurry up with this. Yeah, before it goes all the way in again. There we go. No. No more. S no socks over here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here's something. See, so, yeah, I can go down here to get the purple shiny object. And then I can go back up. I might as well since that was like an easy one to get. Yeah, see, this one moves you dot. dot horizontally? Oh boy. Okay. Cool. Another one of those horizontal ones. Gotta be careful because, like, if you don't hurry, you're going to slip off of it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah oh boy. Ah, what? Okay. How far does that put me back? Now that I know that... There's a slime bot right there. I'll be able to do better planning. Oh, okay, not too bad, not too far back. Ah, seriously? I can't I can't seem to stop them. Okay, I think this should be fine. There's another golden spatula right there. Don't go. Ah, oh, man. Dang it. Gotta get a little closer. I think this should be close enough.
They're pretty generous with how um, close you have to be, I feel. And now this should be much easier because now I don't have him to deal with so close to me. Yeah, it would be quite a challenge to like complete this game without using the bubble cruise. I mean, I'm sure you can. It's probably enough spatulas. Um, like, in order to be able to do it, like, that don't require the bubble cruise power. Um, but just with all the, like, annoying robots, it can still be, like, pretty challenging, I would say. And then maybe, like, you could do, like, one at a time. Maybe, like, you could start with, like, one of the easier, um, bubbles you can miss. Because I, I think I can easily, like, get this game, like... No, I mean, definitely not 100% complete because there's still some challenges that require sun powers. But I bet I could, like, do it without, like, say, use, using the, um, the bubble bull power. Um, yeah. Because I don't think I really use the bubble bull power as much as I use the bubble coup. So, I mean, so, like, if you want to start, you could, like, start small with one of the easier ones, which I think is the... Um, bubble crew, uh, the bubble bull, I think it's like one of the ones that you can do without more easily. And then, what's the other one? Oh, there's another spatula. You had to basically pay the clam to get that spatula to make that bungee appear. Anyway, yeah, and then this is a moving one. I forget what other powers are. Maybe you could try complain the game. Oh yeah, I think there are people who try complain the game only using SpongeBob. I think you can do it. That it's it's kind of challenging too. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do regular Let's Plays mostly, unless some people want me to do challenges. I mean, I'm up for challenges if. People want me to do challenges, but I'm not gonna just do challenges, um, just for the barnacles of it. <laughs> SpongeBob thing. See, this is one where you basically gotta wait for the signs to appear. Not, not too hard though. Oh boy, there's another one. Um, another one of these guys. See, I keep getting too close. I fig Okay. Well, that's fine. Did lose two lives. It's really tough to beat. In my opinion. Here's another spatula, though. So that's nice. I unlocked the other, um... Box, too. Which leads closer to beginning. Oh, yeah, and then this leads to the last area. The last area is called... The Dutchman's Ship. Yeah, I feel like this might be like one of the easier areas. Like one of the more straightforward ones. Like considering it's a later level. This one. Oh yeah, it, uh, unlocks the ship for getting you back to s second area, and as a reminder, it's called Graveyard of Ships. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and... Gotta wait for this thing to go, and then there's Mr. Krabs. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well... It's a good one, though, eh? No, sure is. Here's what you need to do. How is that a joke? All the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Oh yeah, there's a sock right there. So that's where the final sock is. You gotta jump a little bit. I think you can get a Sandy though. Cannon do, Mr. Pretty easily. So yeah, even the socks are fairly easy to find. Just, like, don't want to miss them. Okay, good.
Got it. And now I can get this like underwear. Story. So now I just have one more to go. Yeah, so the first push, 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 push. cannon is pretty easy. And then it gets harder from there, of course. So I can go up or I, Oh, I can't I? I guess I can't. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can't. Oh, well. I guess you gotta go like this. Here, actually, it's easier if I destroy the robot first, though. This guy. Kind of annoying. So I gotta make sure that he's... Yeah, see, like, these guys make it real tough to complete the game without the Bubble Coos power, in my opinion. Yeah, so that's, like, probably one of the harder challenges. But you could probably start with, like, some of the other powers. Like, I think, like, doing it without any of the other powers are, more, are definitely a lot more manageable. Although, maybe taking away, like, the basic net swipe could make it a little bit difficult. Or, like taken away like the up I don't I don't think it's like I'm not sure if it's possible without like w some some of the more basic mo moves I don't know I, I just forget like what was that last power you got the bubble bull like the the I don't know Oh, I, th I think it's a ruler power, maybe. Yeah, you could probably pretty easily do it without that power, too. Take that. Oh, sparkly. Just gonna get rid of them. Oh! Oh, I see. What? Where is it then? Oh, I think if you go like this, it sh you should be able to destroy it pretty easily. There. Can I destroy the... Hold on. No. I don't remember that. Yeah, I can probably just do it like this. And then if I... Oh, if I remember correctly, I don't think you can actually get these unless you're... Oh, I was so close. Hmm. I'm gonna try it again. Doing it the same way I was. I think up there was a checkpoint. Okay, good. Are you serious? Hold on. I can take him out first, though. Should be able to take him out first. Preasley. That may make it easier anyway. Because I think once you take out a robot, you get extra power. Huh. I guess it wasn't that easy. Oh, well. That should be fine. So I think if I do it like this, then... I have to do it, like, right away, though. Okay, cool. So... Hold on, now I... And I should be able to jump to over here. Press this button. Boy. Okay, so if I go like this now. Oh boy. Was not expected. Hmm. Well, dang it. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob 
underwear. <laughs> can I? I don't know if I can or not. Actually, I think it would be easy if I just... There's underwear behind there. That's cool. So... So... Oh, that's where the sock is. Can I jump on one of these things? Get the sock? No. Maybe this. Okay, that worked. And then that's the last sock. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I will um switch to SpongeBob. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that dumb duplicate tr duplicator tron, whatever it's called. Dang it. Okay, good. Got it, and now these things won't keep coming back, so that's good. Okay. The cool thing about this is it stays down. So now I can just switch to Sandy. And that only goes up when I actually get on it. So that's really nice. I think that was probably intended. Now I can go over here. See, this was technically the intended way to do it. But you could technically just do it like this. Where you swing. As long as you're quick enough. You can just do it like this. Yeah, you don't even need that. Which is kind of cool. Oh, can I not? Hmm. Is this something up there? There might be something up there, too. Where are the last two, um... Hmm, I wonder. Where are the last... Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I think you're supposed to... I don't know. This seems really difficult right here. You basically have to, like, get on there. Yeah, you can't basically delay at all. I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's not that easy. Eh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so now one more. So I think I just follow this right here. Hopefully that's it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where is it? I don't see it. Huh, where is it? I just want to take care of that. Ha! Huh, I don't know where it is. Hmm. Man. Huh. I don't know. Oh. 
Wait, hold on, is this something? No, that's for the ship down there. I think I got that. That's one, two, three. Is it this one? I don't get it. It says three. Yeah, I already pushed this one. One, two, three. I don't get it. Oh, the last one needs to be hit by SpongeBob. It's this one right here. Whoopsies. What? Okay. Cannon ready to fire. Cool. So I got this bachelor there. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and hit this. So yeah, they all fire at the the other ship. Oh, and it destroys the lit. lit. Oh, so you need to destroy the lasers. Hmm. Apparently, I need to destroy the lasers somehow. Oh well, I'll figure out. Hmm. Maybe I can go back to a checkpoint and I can figure out there. Somehow I need to store the lasers. I'll go to a checkpoint to me. Eh. Actually, I think I can end it here. Yeah, I'm just gonna end it here. Figure out how to um take out the lasers in the next one. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think I made a bit of progress here. Is the details. Yeah, see, I only have four more spatches to go, so that's good. Got all the socks, got all the cannons. So now I just need to figure out how to, like, destroy the lasers. So I'll do that in the next one. I might even be able to finish up this area in the next one, too. Anyway... Let's go through a verse. The next verse, which will be... Yeah, see, I can make sure it's the right one because it should say December 8th. Yep. Okay, so... This is coming from you version. It says... Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then... You will be able to test and improve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. That comes from Romans 12, 2, New International Version, or for short, NIV. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so I'll look at it in parts and do a quick one or two cents summary for both. So the first sentence says, Do not conform to a pattern this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So what this is saying, in my opinion, is um, that you shouldn't let the world get to you. But you should um, let the renewing of your mind by the Holy Spirit, that's what you should be focused on. Um, you should be focused on doing God's will and changing up your thinking because not everything that the world says is going to necessarily be true. Um, like how they say like it's good to like, um, it's, it's good to make all this money so you can buy whatever you want because money because a lot of people say that money will buy happiness that's not necessarily true though like i mean like technically you can make money to give to other people but if you're just like um in it for yourself then you're probably not going to be all that happy because even the most famous people it's time and time again that it's showing that like they're not really truly happy like i think the happiest people are the ones who like um uh, like do charity work and, and do things for other people. That's why like God's always saying about how you should be doing things for others. And then 
um, because that's what where you'll find true happiness because that's what Jesus did um, and he and and he wants us to follow his example he made sure to make it so that unless we're following him his example we can't truly be happy um, to like um, try to urge us to follow his example at least that's my thinking of it um, and yes yeah, sometimes like I mess up on that too but um, there's other times where I try to like even if I don't necessarily want to um, be doing like some kind of charity work or something like that's good like that will help someone else like some sometimes I like just like put my own wants behind me to like do that um like how when I go to um like when I go to church I don't necessarily always want to go and listen to some but I know it's good for me or like going and doing like um volunteer work I don't all necessarily always want to do that but I still like want to try to go every week because I know it's good to do anyway um, the second sense says then you will be able to test and improve what God's will is his good pleasing and perfect will yeah so what that's saying is um, you will be able to test and improve what God's will is um, so it's so God's will for us is that we will be like him and and that is pleasing and good and perfect so there, there's nothing better than that um so but so yeah like as I saying like the best way to be like him is to help is to like help others and show love to others that's why it's like in that one verse it says that like um that's like basically like you sh show basically like multiple verses are b saying that you show love to others or, or God by showing love to others and so that is basically his will what 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 it's talking about there um and by doing good deeds you will be able to test and improve that um you will be able to test that like doing good showing love to others also shows love to God and makes you feel a little bit better about yourself too. Um, feel like you're coming closer to God, which in turn helps you how how helps bring you true happiness. Because the closer you get to God, the closer you can feel his happiness as like that is the best kind of happiness. Um, and his peace as the best kind of peace. Just all that good stuff. So, you can let me know your take on the verse, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Um, and also, if you want to, um, if you want me to discuss it a little, a little bit more with, um, you, if you have, if anyone has any questions, they can feel free to let me know what some of those questions would be. Or if you, like, need help in a certain area to, like, maybe pertain to the verse maybe not like you can like always feel free to share that as well <clears throat> and if anyone else wants to help anyone who's commenting feel free because like we're all in this together anyway I'll go through the a uh, quick recap now and then I'll wrap it up so a quick recap is um I got a few more spatulas today I got the I think I got the top of the stack of the ship spatula for making it to the end of the second area. I think this that's what this was for. Um, and then the shipwreck bungee was I basically pl paid the clam and that uh, in order to like unlock the another bungee area and then that like um, and then I did that in order to earn a spatula down at the end of that bungee and then destroy the robot ship. That was for like, um, I didn't actually do that just yet because I still need to figure out a way to, um, destroy the lasers, but I did get the spatula for pushing all the buns in order to unlock the treasure chassing, like, um, getting all the cannons into position so that when I destroy the lasers, it will be able to like wreck the other ship, wreck basically the enemy ship. Oh, I think... The one that has the cannons is supposed to be the Flying Dutchman ship. 
and then the other ship is like one of is someone who wants to try who's trying to take out the flying dutchman i think that's what that's supposed to be yeah and i think get a loft there maybe i think this is like the spatula up at the very top of one of the ships and i think that may be what you get for destroying the lasers I'm not sure though. We'll have to see in the next episode. Oh yeah, and I also got the um, last two socks. Um, I got them both as Sandy. One was um, that I basically jumped up on the bales and I just like swung a little bit to it. And then the last, the and then the previous one was I spotted. Um, it was a little hidden. I spotted the sock. It was like underneath one one of the ship's wreckages on the graveyard of ships section, which is the second section, the section before this one with the two ships, which was called the Dut which is called the Dutchman ship is what the last section is called. Uh or this one. Um anyway, that's going to do it for the recap and now I'll move on to the outro. I hope you enjoyed um the gameplay and if you s also stayed for the verse and or the recap thank you so much for um s staying that long as well and if, if you like to stay for the outro that's coming up right now and yeah so yeah definitely a big thanks to everyone who does stay the entire time please like share and subscribe and be sure to ring that notification bell for Either all of my regular content or uh, some, my personalized regular content if you'd like. You can set personalized notifications by clicking the bell and then clicking on personalize. And that's how you can do all as well. So with personalized you will only get um, the notified about the content that you are actually watching. So if you are only watching some of my content, that's what you'll be notified of. Like for example, if you're only watching my Battle for Beginning by Armory Hydrated videos or some of um, personalized videos in the future, you will only be notified about those games. Unfortunately, you cannot do notifications about specific playlists, but that's still better than um, having to be notified about all of my videos. Um, if you'd like to leave some comments, that would be great too. That will also help the algorithm. That will help get my video out to more people. You can leave, um, feedback on, um, this series. Anything that happens in the videos here. You can also, um, leave prayer requests down below if you have any. Um, if you would like to discuss the verse a little bit. Share your thoughts on it. Um, that would be fine too. You can also just leave a simple emote. That's fine as well. Um, if you like to like um, give me some advice on how I can make these videos just a bit better, that that's fine as well. I'm not always going to be following um, that advice, but I, I I do at least read all the comments. So um, I will hear you, though I may not always um like um go with that um right away whatever that advice may be anyway i hope to see a lot of you in the next video or the next um of uh, the these um spongebob squarepants battle before beginning by rehydrate let's play videos which is always tuesdays and thursdays bye everyone